Well, this is the video that was live streamed on Facebook by Andrea Dre Hollingsworth during her interaction with North Las Vegas police. It is hard to see here, but the officers are wearing their face mask and since she is deaf, she could not read their lips. She says that she could not understand them. I spoke with her over Zoom using a sign language interpreter. Let's go. Let's go. You can record. I'm recording too. This is the beginning of the live stream. Why does she have to do it? Dre's daughter questions the officer why her mom is being told to get out of the car. I don't know why I'm really being pulled over and he's interrogating me. I'm black. I'm deaf. George Floyd just happened. Ow, ow. Come on. The Come police on. officer pulled my arm. Yes. Yeah, he pulled my oh. arm. And I was like, whoa, why? I have never experienced anything like that before in all of my life. The officer also instructs her 11-year-old twins to get out. Is I'll have you are? come with me so you can talk. Dre says it only got worse as she couldn't communicate with the officer. I'm saying, look at this, like we need a text, we need a write, and he just kept on talking and talking and talking. I will sit down on the curb. The officer tells the girls he is investigating their mom. Okay. Dre says she was in the area near Decatur and Ann Road to get rent money back after moving out early, but the landlord called police. She's just over here because she needs her money back from her friend. The officer pushes her to sit down on the curb. Sit down, sit down, down, sit, sit down. Put your, back. Put your hands behind your back. I'm your As her daughters scream, she is put in handcuffs so she can no longer sign and drops her phone. Don't, 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 don't tell her to put her hands behind her back. Tell her to put her hands behind her back. The screen is black as the girls continue to cry for several minutes. And then the officer says this to the 11 year olds. When you guys need to talk to it's okay. Requiring our 11 year old uh, to interpret in a police situation is against the Americans with Disabilities Act. And uh, there are regulations in there that expressly prohibit children from being used as an interpreters. Andrew Rosinski is a deaf rights lawyer with one of the top firms in the country. He argues the kids were put in a position they should not have been. Not Many right police here. departments have 24 hour interpreter service for multiple languages, including sign language. There are uh, services out there such as video relay services in which someone could pull up an interpreter on their iPhone or iPad. I never thought that this would happen to me because I'm not, I'm not a criminal. Dre says her daughters were traumatized. My kids are afraid because of all of the incidents that have been happening recently. And you know, they're raised black in this community. So when they see a police officer, they're also on high alert. Now she is demanding change. Oh, no. So what happened to her will not happen to anyone else. I really want all of Las Vegas police to change with their how they learn and how they deal with deaf people because it is really scary how deaf people are treated. If my kids weren't with me, then I would have died that day. My kids. And Fox 5 asked North Las Vegas police about what happened and they tell us that they have investigated the circumstances. They say that Dre initially refused to comply with their request and was briefly detained until police completed their investigation. We asked for additional clarification about their policy when dealing with death or hard of hearing people during traffic stops or searches. They sent their entire 198 page department policy manual and this statement. This department will make every effort to see that its employees communicate effectively with people who have identified themselves as deaf or hard of hearing. We're live at the update desk tonight. Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.